Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. This is Ask Clock. We teed it up on Sky Sports social media accounts, giving you at home the chance to ask this man absolutely anything. Jürgen, we had over 8,000 questions and the hashtag Ask Klopp was the number one trend in the UK. Ooh, oh, sorry for that. So, uh, obviously, <laughs> nothing else, not, not, no other important things happened that time. So. <laughs> this is very important. We'll get straight into it. Uh, first up, if you weren't working in football, what job would you be doing now? I wanted to become a doctor, uh, but football came in between a little bit because um, when I started, when I wanted to start studying, it was clear I was kind of semi professional and I had to focus a little bit. But. Um, Doctor was the, the job I wanted to do. What level did you get to? How many qualifications? No, no, no. I, uh, you, in Germany at that time, you had to make a test for, to, 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 to get uh, permission to study medicine oh, right. at the university, and I, I did that test. And then, um, but that never happened. I, sported, I started, studied then sports science with the main subject, sports medicine. So it was still a little bit in that direction, yeah. but it was not as intense as, a, as the, the other studies would have been. Fair play. Next question. What is your best accomplishment as Liverpool manager, winning the Premier League or winning the Champions League? Uh, Tough one. After we tried a lot of times to win a European final, so it was big to <laughs> win at that time. Yeah. But yeah, it's probably winning the Premier League. Winning the 30, Premier League? Yeah, probably. After Why do you say years. that? Uh, I, it's, it's not so much what, is it, what it means to me. It's, uh, um, for me, both are the same. Um, yeah. But I think for the people, it, um, the, the Premiership was more important, and that's why I'm fine with that 100%. Yeah. Is it harder to win one. the Premier League, do you think, than the Champions League? And for Liverpool, obviously, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> it was in the past. So, um, <laughs> uh, both competitions are really tricky. To get to a final in the Champions League is already not, yeah. not that easy, but winning the Premier League with the, with the teams you, 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 you face all the time is. Um, is big, so yes, it's probably more difficult. It okay. sounds strange, but it's probably true. Yeah, both amazing accomplishments. Which one did you have a bigger party for afterwards? Oh, Jam definitely the Champions League because we, we but, but, but on a pretty private basis, we had yeah. a big one after winning the, the, the Premier League as yeah. well. But oh, yeah, the, we had no, still no um, um, parade through the city. So definitely after Champions yeah. League. Can you, can you tell us what happened at the party or is that? Which one? The, the Champions League one. Oh, Champions League one was in, it was in Madrid still, so I, I met a lot of um, famous people that night, and I don't remember them all. <laughs> but um, I remember when I saw Stevie after the game, and obviously meant for him to him a lot as well. So it was yeah. really nice to have a chat with him and a lot of people. I have a lot of memories of that night. That would leave not really would be too long. Um, yeah. <laughs> the good thing what I learned from um, previous um, celebration parties: um, don't drink too much and remember more. So and I was completely fine. <laughs> good advice. Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, <laughs> can give to everybody. Yeah? So don't drink too much. <laughs> that uh, is the advice from Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> drink less so you can remember the party. In. Exactly. It's great advice. Uh, yeah. Next question: Is Mo Salah the best player in the world right now? Yeah. Easy one for you to answer that. Yeah, it is because uh, look, I watch him all the time and mm. I see him how he's performing and I see a little bit of others, but not so much. And we, if we, in a moment, we don't have to talk about um, how good Ronaldo is and and Messi and and, and Lewandowski is scoring like crazy in in, yeah. in the German Bundesliga and the Champions League. So, but I see more every day, and for me, he's the best player in the moment. So that's how it is. But um, other people might have a different a different opinion about that. Not too important. Um, because uh, there's obviously not only one opinion um, will decide that, but I'm really happy with the shape Moes in the moment. Yeah. That's really good. He's such a great player. You see him, you said that every day in training. Is he in the best form of his life right now? Because he's always been a top player, hasn't he? Do you feel now yeah, yeah, no, people haven't been giving him the credit he deserves? I'm, I'm not sure they're now. not giving him the credit. I, I don't know how much credit he gets from mm. Pablo Everton. For that, I have to read or follow or whatever. Yeah. I don't do that. Um, but for me, it's, he is in a really good shape. And, and obviously, more with, with, the, with the crazy numbers he had. There were periods as well where he was not, but finishing was not that easy for him. He had that, but not. In the five years we work together now, it, um, it's incredible. The, the consistency is absolutely incredible, and he's getting better. And it's how football is. Maybe we make we close the book about football is much too early. It's like well, I'm going, getting into the 30s and stuff like this. The best players in the world two, yeah, two three years ago, true. so we're all 33, 34. Lewandowski passed the 30. Mm. Um, Mo is getting there. So stuff like this. That's the best age of a footballer. You understand the game better. You can judge the pitch better. You see situation long before that will happen and all these kind of things. So yes, he's probably in the best shape. Okay, next question. Bit random this one. This is our most asked question actually. How does it feel not to wear glasses anymore? Someone said I can't get used to it. Yeah, that's <laughs> like me. It's really strange. I have to really? say. Really? Yeah, it's really. So I get used. I'm, I'm fine. I don't yeah. need it. 
I'm still there, but I think maybe I can, could um, use them for specific situations, and maybe I will. But I don't know, but it's still strange. So, so is it laser eye surgery that you had? No, lens implants. Oh, I, I did you? It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Do you think would, you'll that. ever? You said you might bring back glasses. You might need to. Yeah, yeah. For for the very far distance. Now light is get, now light is getting worse. We play a lot of flat light games, stuff like this. So it might be, but I have, to, I have really to, to see that. The thing is, I'm really I, ca I cannot get used to it for myself. Really? It's really tricky. And really? The, the, the worst thing is, of, all of a sudden, I see my the shadows and stuff like this, which you don't see. Wow. Or the, what is it? The, the backs here, you don't see them when you wear glasses. And when, yeah. when you take the glasses off, you don't see your face. <laughs> That's a so it's completely fine. And now I see all the things and you know, oh my God. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's, it's not cool. But the problem what I had so far now was as long as the, the, the glasses make no difference, yeah. it's like looking through a window. Yeah, and it's yeah. not that comfortable. In yeah. the moment when I, when I really feel, okay, for this situation, this situation, I could need them. A, a game, it's, it's really likely that I will use them for games. Um, but for normal day things, I don't need them, and so I don't wear them. There we go, that answers that question. Uh, next up, where do you like to go on holiday? Oh, somewhere with sunshine, it's pretty yeah. easy. Is so, that the most important thing yeah, for a young top holiday? It has to weather, be sunny. Weather is, so it's, outside the UK then, I presume. It's hard. Um, <laughs> not, not heat. You yeah. know, 40 degree or something, so 24, 25 degree, yeah, no, that, that's, that, that's nice, so you can sing outside in shorts, yeah. long, have, at night you need a jump or stuff like this, so yeah. these kind of, <laughs> and over the day you have sunlight. I'm addicted to, Are you to, addicted? to, to, to light. To light. Not sun, but light. I need actually, um, honestly, that's that's. So are you my... afraid of the dark then? You don't no, the not at all. Oh, not right. at all. Just for, for, I feel completely different, a uh, different energy level when, when I see sunlight already in the morning. Oh really? Yeah. So give me your ideal location then. We could book a flight. Oh, well, this summer we were for a long time on Mallorca, and it was brilliant, yeah. to be honest. I don't have to go that far. So, um, Ibiza we like. We, we, look, it's not that we um, do the most fancy stuff on holiday, and mm. have, let's have a look here and there and stuff like this. I'm, for, for the first one, two weeks, I'm just tired on holiday, if I'm 100% honest. And um, mm. so it's just about relaxing, bringing the family together. Thank God they still want to travel with us. Mm. Um, and it's really good. So, it means closest people around. Yeah, nice light, proper temperature, yeah. and that's holiday. Nice. Next up, uh, we've got one that says, because of your love for heavy metal football, which <laughs> instrument would you play in a band and why? I like that one. I, I, I learned a little bit, uh, what is it, electro piano? Is the electric piano? Uh, uh, yes, as a kid. Okay, as a the, kid. the keyboard. But, yeah, the keyboard, right. Yeah. Um, but um, I would have loved to play the drums. The drums. Yes. I can see you playing the drums. Yeah, actually. I can see myself. Yeah, the drums. I can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would probably. Have you ever learned the drums? No, no, no. Why not? No, no, no time. I, when I can you, when, it, oh, no time. I don't know. As a kid, when you probably it's the best to learn it. I was just um, playing football or being in school. Yeah. It was life, um, and so there was no real time for it. And my, my parents wanted to learn a, me to learn yeah. an instrument. So and then I bought a, uh, a keyboard. Yeah. And you can plug in obviously yeah. the headset and yeah, then yeah, you can, nobody hears you so that's great <laughs> so we, I'm not sure that works with the drums properly <laughs> you can't plug the drums in that's too loud uh, yeah. it ties on to our next one quite nicely actually that says what is Klopp's karaoke song this is a great question take me home down to the road country road take me yeah, home yeah exactly Are you going to give us a bit of a rendition of that no, no. <laughs> sorry I'm not in that you know, but what, it's, why that song no, you, you can that? sing it loud take me home country road to the place I below West Virginia mom, 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 take me. and then you can go really for it Brilliant. so you don't need a proper voice um, to do it so I'm gathering with music drums loud that's a loud song you like music that's loud then do you no I like different music it's just more my character unfortunately right. unfortunately I would I wish I would be a bit more sensitive in different moments but it's it's just it's more me so but I uh, know I, I love I love each kind of music but yeah. I'm not a music person so right, it's okay. not I never since I can think, I never had really time to to lay somewhere or yeah. sit somewhere and just go for music. I had always something else to do, to be honest. So yep. I'm, I'm, I love people who can know all the lyrics for songs. So I have yep. no chance for me. <laughs> for me, constantly I hear the, the first one. It's like from the 85 or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Okay, next one. Uh, they continue to get quite random, some of these questions. This one just says, if you were stuck on a desert island with two other Premier League managers, who would you pick? <laughs> wow. Some good questions, aren't they? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a horrible scenario. Only, it only, right? only the three of us. Yes, three of you on a desert island. Who'd you pick, and a, and a reason why as well? Oh, I think it would go for Pep and Daniel Farker. Pep and Daniel Farker, why? Yeah, I like Daniel a lot. Yeah, to be honest, he's a really good guy. 
And I, I think Pep is pretty inspiring. Mm. So uh, I'm not sure, I don't know how it's in private. Oh, no, I know it's in private, but it was really nice when we met. Yeah. So um, I think we could talk about different things, okay. not only football. So yeah. you're picking them to, for, for, for the conversation, not the help to get off to Desert Island? Oh. I don't know if anybody of them, if anybody of us has any skills to get off the, <laughs> off the desert island. I thought that much. Let me, let me think about who could be that. And then probably Sean Dyche. I'm Sean not, Dyche. He, he looks like um, he can get... Uh, can you off the uh, desert island? find a way out. Uh, <laughs> Sean Dyche, there we go. Uh, next one. Um, has Jurgen Klopp watched Squid Game? Yes, the first, the first episode. Mm. And it was... I didn't like it. You didn't like no, it? No, it was too brutal. Oh, I, I, really? I make, it makes no sense. For Does me. it make so any like, sense? No, it's, uh, you can, I, I, there are other series out there and people die, that's clear. Yeah. But um, when this dog started shooting all the people right. for moving a step, I thought, okay, that's not what I want to see. That's okay. Why, yeah. um, next up, what is the best night out Jurgen Klopp has ever had? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pff, oh, I'm 54 years, we had a few. <laughs> so the best night out. I probably can't remember. Could have, uh, no. You're it's, looking for inspiration. Yeah. There. <laughs> Maybe Matty knows better than me, but um, best night out. No, I have no idea. No idea. No there's, idea. there's been a few of that. You've had a few good nights out. Yeah, maybe people would say, and I probably should say as well, not enough. Um, but I had a few good and a few yeah. good ones. But actually, whenever we go out, it's always good. So yeah. Um, yeah, we just don't do that at all. Do you like to dance a bit? I've seen some yeah, clips yeah, of you. Yeah, 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 you dance yeah. a lot. You're on the dance yeah. floor when you're the night. I out. am on the dance floor, definitely. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, last few. Who would win in a boxing match, Jurgen Klopp or Roy Keane? I'm 100 percent sure Roy Keane. Really? I never, I, I, I never punched a person in my life, if then with words. And okay. I think it would be a boxing match, but not, it would not be with words. I would say. Maybe I have a chance. Yeah. But no, Roy is a thing of the tackles he had yeah, during yeah, his yeah. career. No chance. I could never be that ruthless. So you'd be good in the build-up when the when the fighters do the the, the, the talking, but but not in the uh, yeah. not in the actual ring. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, stand next to, in front of each other, so his his face is on my on chest height or whatever. Yeah. That's it. That would be. <laughs> good. That's the last moment when I probably impressed him, and from that moment on, he's uh, he's the winner. Fair enough. A final question. Are you the best manager in the world? <laughs> no. No, not at all. No, of course. Why not. did you laugh at that? Because obviously that's a genuine question we got we got asked. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm not. I, I know my I know all my struggles. I know my problems. I know whatever it means being the best manager in the world. I don't know exactly. Um, but I'm nothing without my without my the coaches around me, and I don't want to be um, anything without them. To be honest, it's just not it doesn't make sense. I play football. I love to play football my whole life because of using my teammates but helping them as well and mm. that's exact I, I just kept going kept doing that mm. after when i became a manager so i use my coaches but i help them as well and together we are a pretty good coach yeah. i know that um but i was never interested in being the best coach really in the world. who no. do you think is then best manager for me it's pep. pep guardiola best manager yes, in the world for me it is yeah yeah but even i don't know if it's really the truth it's mm. just um he's really difficult to play against mm. Love that. Jürgen, really enjoyed that. Thank you very much for your time. As always, all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.